Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be do doing a video about what adults never tell you growing up. Adults never tell you that acne is going to last forever. And they also never tell you that acne doesn't just appear on your face. It kind of appears everywhere. And I'm going to tell you this because I'm going to be straight with you. It's difficult to maintain your face and acne just, it's a battle, kids. It's a battle between you and acne. And I hate to break it to you, but it's gonna last a while. I know women who are up in their 40s who still break out occasionally. So yeah, don't listen to the media and listen to me because I'm telling you the truth. Acne is forever. Also hair. Hair is gonna be everywhere. And just because you're a girl doesn't mean that you're excluded from the hair rule. It just means that society expects you to shave. But just FYI, you don't actually have to shave if you don't want to. But really, hair is going to be everywhere. And it's going to be up on your face. It's going to be obviously on your head. Okay, guys, let's, let's not be... Really? Come on. But it's going to be up on your face. It's going to be on your tummy. It's going to be on your legs. All up your legs. Sometimes hair is going to be on your hands, on your arms, under your arms. It's going to be on your feet. It's going to be in other places. Also, your butt. Your butt's hairy. Sorry. It just happens. Hair doesn't like to listen to beauty standards. It just happens. There is no guidebook to growing up. No one sits you down and gives you a little certificate and be like, congratulations, you're an adult. Here's a little guidebook. It's going to teach you how to do taxes, how to be successful in life, how to have lots of friends, how to blah, 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 blah. There is none of that. There's your parents and there's other adults that you respect, but mostly it's you just blundering around hoping that you don't make too big of a mistake. I'm going to be real with you kids. Attractive people have it better in life. They get things a lot easier, but I'm also going to tell you another secret. Happy, upbeat people have just as many opportunities as those attractive people. And sometimes, you know, the easiest way isn't the best way. You're self-centered and it's okay. It's okay to be self-centered because you know what? So is everybody else. 50% of the time, only you notice your mistakes. And the other 50%, people look, glance up, look at you, and be like, oh, she made a thing. Uh, that sucks. Okay, now I take it back. That's 40% of the time. No. Let's say that's 49% of the time. The other 1% of the time are the jerks that are like, oh, you made a mistake, and no one really cares about that 1%. This is the awful truth. Money actually buys you happiness. Now, I'm not saying it can buy you spiritual happiness or love or whatnot, but I'm saying money can guarantee your comfort in life. And comfort does equal happiness. So don't feel bad when you value money because you need to value money because it's an important part of our society. This is the biggie. Having a significant other isn't the end all be all. And let me tell you, it sure damn feels like it. But I promise you, it's not the end of the world to be alone. Sometimes it's probably good for you. Thinking that you are the shit doesn't make you a bad person. I know that in this generation, sometimes it makes you feel really guilty because you are expected not to be narcissistic and self-centered. But honestly, it's okay because half the time society is telling us that we aren't good enough. And who else besides you, and probably your friends and family, 
it's gonna tell you that you are the shit. So go on believing it. Because guess what, honey? You are. Finding a job has more to do with your prior work experience and your social skills than it does your GPA. And let me tell you, I was super surprised by that fact. As long as you can talk to someone really well in a professional setting, you're golden. It's okay to fail. I think that sometimes we get in this mentality that everything must be perfect and must be a success. But sometimes failure teaches you more than success does. So please fail. Fail a lot and learn from it. Because let me tell you, that's exactly how I learned. I hope you enjoyed these truths. Um, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Um, I have a Twitter and a Tumblr if you would like to contact me through there. The links will be down in my bio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye!